So a few days ago, I was having a discussion uh, with somebody on Facebook on the you know, spiritual quest and, and truth and making sense of, of reality in our inner states of being. And he was very much in the camp of um, that uh, emotions are a distraction and um, a source of confusion and that one should not um, not be you know dealing with with emotions but should be seeking to come to this place of like su supreme consciousness that is beyond emotion and the body and even thoughts and in the course of that discussion then I um, sort of formulated a, a little theory or um, conception of, of how this works as far as the thoughts and the emotions and the, emotions and the, and the body. And here's uh, how I see it, which is that there is this supreme consciousness beyond thought and emotion and the body and desire and, you know, everything that we have a way of getting mired in here in the third dimensional human experience. Beyond all that is this just, you know, all pervading, constant, uh, you know, sort of unchanging, not unchanging, but um, just this, this, this steady um, state of being of consciousness that is not, you know, caught up in being pulled around by these human emotions and, and desires of the body and um, conflicting thoughts and, and all this stuff. And this, this, you know, this state of being sounds quite sublime and, and um, beautiful and uh, I do believe that it is kind of our ultimate goal, ultimately is, you know, to come, to come back into that original um, expression of, of a pure state of consciousness that is beyond and above that which we experience on a daily basis here in the human uh, experience. However, the important thing to understand is that thoughts and emotions and the body Pardon me if the wind is getting in the way here. All of this stuff that we experience as part of being, being human are expressions of that supreme consciousness. And they represent varying levels of density. So the physical realm is, of course, a very dense place of these, these hard objects that, you know, are, are so much different from that experience of um, a pure state of blissful beingness that we can conceive of and perhaps have experienced to varying um, degrees. But this physical realm is, is, is part of that supreme consciousness and, and the physical world is uh, simply an expression of energy, of light, and physical matter is actually almost entirely empty space. Um, it, is, it is not something hard and imp impenetrable, even though it may seem that way, um, but it is just, you know, energy that is stuck together, that is, that is holding itself together in a certain way, uh, such that we experience it as being, as feeling hard, it's, you know, you can't just run through a tree. But this is, this is part of the expression of that sublime, supreme state of consciousness. And so, thoughts would be, would be one step down from, maybe not one step, maybe there's something else in between, but, but a step down in density from that state of supreme being, in that, in that a thought is a um, focused packet of consciousness you know, this pure state of consciousness that has been um, focused into a more limited, uh, uh, 
way of being a specific, you know, thinking about this this particular thing or event or or impression or judgment. And so that is a that is a limitation on that pure state of consciousness. Um, emotion would then be a further step into density, into limitation, into separation, um, in terms of being a more more intense, more dense experience of that supreme consciousness. And then the physical body would be yet another layer of going deeper into density. This experience of density is, you know, it's not an accident. We didn't just fall into it. Um, it isn't like we, we took the wrong path and ended up in this difficult place that seems so much different from, you know, the spirit realm, the, the, the place of this source of, of um, sublime consciousness. You know, it isn't an accident or a mistake. It was a, a choice to experience this, this more dense ex uh, experience, this more dense dimension or realm, you know, for the contrast of being so much different from that source you know, that place that we all come from. And it is a very, you know, powerful and intense experience here, but it is also a place of intense um, lessons. And there is something to be gained from it, because then when you go back into that state of being, you're like, wow, now, now, I, now I know how good it was, you know, or now I know what, it was, what I was actually experiencing before, because I've experienced something that is in such stark, contrast to that state of sublime bliss. Now, um, the thing is, if these conflicting thoughts and confusing emotions and the physical body are expressions of that um, source of consciousness, and you seek to return to that source of consciousness and be able to actually stay there, then you need to be in a state of oneness and wholeness of yourself. Because that is our original state, is, is one of all aspects of ourself being um, unified, you know, if you accept that, that premise. But that's the premise that I'm, that I'm uh, operating from, is that all con consciousness comes from the same place and is, is um, is meant to be in a unified state of being. That was the original state of being of consciousness before choosing to have an experience of separation and of density for the contrast. So if you're seeking to, you know, get back to that place of supreme, blissful, you know, unruffled uh, state of being, then you have to go there with all aspects of yourself. And that means um, rather than seeking to separate from emotions in the body and um, conflicting thoughts in order to get back to that state of supreme state of being, you have to actually integrate these, par these parts of yourselves and bring them with you rather than seeking to separate from them in order to get to that Supreme, supreme state of bliss, and that's that's kind of the the ultimate crux in the spiritual community, uh, the the um, you know fork in the road of how to deal with this human experience and um, you know all that comes with it in the quest to return to our natural state of, of being. The question is, do you then deny all the stuff that seems to be, you know, creating that experience of separation, or do you work with it? And that's, that's the ultimate question, and I'm, I'm very much in the camp of you have to work with it, you have to integrate it, you have to transform it. And I've uh, mentioned this in various videos previously, which is that the Shroud of Turin uh, 
may very well be ultimate proof of the uh, idea that Jesus ascended with his body into the spirit realm. And um, there are lots of explanations for why the Shroud of Turin, uh, it doesn't make sense that it could be a forgery from the Middle Ages, Middle Ages and I won't get into those specifics. Um, but if it is a real artifact, if it is in fact the burial shroud of Jesus, then um, it is a, a sign that, um, and also the, the testimony from, from you know, the Bible says that they went back into the cave where Jesus had been, um, had been left after he was, he was crucified and that the body was gone. Um, and so, you know, assuming that there is truth in this story, who, who knows? You know, we're talking about uh, um, a few parchment papers from 2,000 years ago, or a little less than that, um, stating, you know, that Jesus existed and that, you know, he, ex he ascended after his crucifixion and all this. Um, assuming that this is, that this is true, that Jesus actually existed, um, then, then that is one source of, of information, of knowledge, attesting to this concept that the physical body um, is meant to be returned to spirit, that it is an expression of spirit, and that uh, thus in the course of seeking um, true oneness, then we have to take all of this stuff, all of our um, you know, messy uh, elements of being human with us back into the spirit realm rather than separating them and leaving them behind. And that, to me, is, you know, that is, that is separation in a nutshell. The idea that, that we need to um, discard, forsake, the aspects of ourselves that we deem as not being spiritual um, and only focus on, on the less dense, um, less confusing, spiritual parts of ourselves. So, um, there we go, that's my my own personal just take and understanding on these various levels of our being. And, you know, whether or not those other parts of ourselves should be discarded and separated and left to, you know, compose, compost, decompose here here on earth or be integrated into the into our spiritual path in a quest to to integrate them um, into the spirit um, you know, the spirit being the spirit realm in our quest to come back into that sublime sublime undisturbed um, all-knowing all-pervasive all-encompassing state of wholeness and oneness. So uh, I just wanted to tack a little something on the end of this video. I was just walking back into town after uh, recording a couple of videos and on this subject of supreme consciousness, thought, emotion, and the body, then I sort of forgot to get to the ultimate point that I was getting to and the really important concept to take away from this which is that if then these various um, expressions of supreme consciousness, such as uh, thoughts and the emotions and the body, are in fact part of that all-pervading consciousness, then these are expressions of energy, of, you know, of source energy, that have to be worked with and integrated into our being in order to assimilate them as opposed to separate from them. And this means then actually going further into density as opposed to seeking to escape um, this physical 3D realm. And that is the important concept to take away from this, is that the solution, the resolution here, is not to focus on this um, state of being that is, you know, beyond and above and separated from 
this human experience we are currently having, it is instead to basically balance this um, intention, this understanding, this awakening to a state of being beyond all that we are experiencing here in, in human form, balance that with, in fact, um, going fully into this human experience and working with everything that arises in the course of this experience. And that's the, um, the balancing point of, of um, navigating spirit and body. You know, so often spiritual teachings are saying, you know, people have gotten lost in the illusion that uh, the human beings think that this physical realm is, is all that exists um, and get lost in their desires and their emotions and their impulses and their, their body and think that that is all that exists and, and all that matters. So the solution that they propose is to then therefore deny all of that stuff and describe to you this uh, spiritual realm beyond the physical, um, you know, separated from this human experience that sounds so much more um, peaceful and blissful and easy and, and you know, rational and, and sane and, and, and that sounds, uh, you know, appealing to us because it is uh, beyond and separated from these difficult human experiences. And so they say, they say as an as a alternative, you know, focus on rising up into this uh, spiritual realm. And that is kind of throwing the baby out with the bathwater, um, overcorrecting, when um, this experience that we're having here is for a reason. We didn't just we didn't just fall into this experience and um, and there's no you know there's no purpose for it other than getting out of here. Whatever we are experiencing in this realm is a perfect reflection of our own vibration of who we are. And so, what I am seeking to convey, um, you know, along with with others, is that the solution is to balance these two uh, seemingly opposed realities. And that ultimately it is in fact getting fully immersed into this um, experience that we are, we are having, whatever we are experiencing, whatever we are feeling, um, with a spiritual consciousness and um, working with that energy that arises and aligning it finding alignment with it somehow, some way, with the spiritual realm, um, with that higher aspect of our consciousness. And so that is, that is kind of the ultimate point that I'm, that I'm trying to get to here, is that um, we can't get there by denying, you know, whatever we're experiencing here in the moment, but that we have to work with it in, in some way, embrace it, understand that it is not um, in opposition to that spiritual realm, but is in, spa in fact simply an expression of it, um, and that that we have to work with that experience, experience whatever arises, because whatever we're experiencing in this human realm is not um, is not in contradiction to the spiritual. It is simply an expression, a part of it that has to be um, dealt with and resolved. Um, as opposed to being denied. Um, and uh, um, so that, as I see it, is kind of the, you know, the threading of the needle, the, uh, the middle way, as, as uh, the Buddha proposed, um, to, you know, merge these, these different realms of spirit and body, um, these different dimensions, um, and, you know, align these seemingly opposed energies with one another instead of, instead of separating them out and saying this is spiritual and this is um, illusion and therefore just focus on that upper realm. So 
There we go, that's my uh, perspective on all that stuff. Quick little uh, pan of the woods here. Town of Jasper off in the distance there where I'm about to go find some dinner. Take care. Have an awesome weekend. Namaste.